Hey folks, how we doing? Wow, I haven't, uh, I haven't posted anything to YouTube in quite some time now. Um, I figured now would be the time though. Um, I finally have all of the pieces of my media center, my home media center, put together. Um, the free NAS, free NAS storage box is all assembled. It's, uh, it's finally running stably. Uh, I can connect to it quite easily from all of my devices, my, my cell phone, my tablets, various PCs. Um, everything's running smoothly, so uh, that's all that's all well and good. And so I figured I would actually go in and show off the front end. Now that all the heavy lifting is over, I can actually do the fun stuff. Um, I had some friends, actually the last time I posted a YouTube video, it was a private video to some friends who were asking about uh, setting up a home theater PC. Um, they were specifically asking about ripping uh, DVDs and whatnot and uh, what software they would need to do that and what software they would need to um, to view their, their media on a home theater PC. And of course, naturally, I recommended XBMC. So I'd like to go into um, XBMC as like how I use it, as I use it, um, and also the skin that I use because there's not very many videos uh, about this particular skin uh, that cover this particular skin. So with that being said, I am running uh, a Frodo release of XBMC. This is the last stable release of Frodo. I'm not quite ready to update to the Gotham version that's out there yet. Uh, I do have Gotham running on my Nexus 10 tablet, and it seems to run just fine. I'm just not quite ready to make the leap uh, to Gotham on my home media center. So. Uh, this is the Aeon MQ5 skin. Uh, it's the latest version of the MQ series of, uh, of Aeon. <clears throat> it is available actually for the first time uh, in the official XBMC skin library. If you navigate over here and take a look, there it is. Uh, so kudos to the developer for that recognition. Uh, up until this point, you had to sideload the Aeon MQ uh, skin. And uh, this version, it's simply in uh, the XPMC library, so that's excellent. I highly recommend it. It's uh, it's heavily customizable uh, and has some certain functionalities uh, that uh, that are really great as well. You see the main menu bar here. It's nothing really extraordinary. Uh, it's your standard main menu bar, side scroller. Um, I have changed some of the titles, uh, removed a couple, and added a couple new ones as well. Uh, by default, it's going to look like this, though. You're going to have the widgets up above the main menu. I've chosen to hide those. Um, I, I prefer the more clean aesthetic, but uh, it's, it's easy to do, and it's easy to get back to if I need to jump into my widgets there. Uh, in order to make these changes on the main menu, you go down, and you continue down until you get to the customization menu. This brings up a very familiar uh, editing menu for those people who use various other skins. Uh, this will look very uh, familiar to you. Um, you have your main menu items here on the left. Go to the right to make your adjustments. I'm not going to get into the details of that. Uh, you have your submenus off to the left and then make your adjustments. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave, uh, leave the details of that alone. You just kind of need to play around with it and find what works for you. Let's go ahead and get into the library views. I particularly use the right list, um, which is the name of uh, a view that he uses here in this MQ5 skin. For me, it really hits the sweet spot of being functional and yet uh, very minimalistic. Uh, it has all the information that I require on one screen, and yet it's not cluttered, and uh, you still have that great big fan art in the background and a nice big thumbnail off to the left and then a very organized simple library list on the right side. If you're not particularly happy with whatever the view may be that you're in, uh, navigate till you find yourself up here. Uh, you can change some of these toggles around if you like or if you continue up you can change the view entirely. If you don't see anything there that really tickles your fancy, continue up again, and you have a whole assortment of view types that you can activate and deactivate, and surely you'll find something there that suits you. I'll go ahead and stop off in television here, um, just to illustrate one point. Um, you can see that I again use the right list view type. Now that I'm in the uh, 
the episode list though let's go ahead and make a change I actually uh, prefer I'm, I've been using this one I've been preferring this one recently and but the thing I look for in the list types both with write list and with this one is that you have the ability to cycle through the end of a list so here's episode one and here's the last episode I can actually jump back between those two I can go all the way through the list without issue if I go up and select a different one let's go to panel if I navigate to the bottom of the list and I hit down again all it does is clear the foreground information and leave the background image there and you hit down again this is what it does so there's to me there's no real functionality in that uh, you know there, there might be a reason that it is that way and I'm sure there's a good reason it is that way uh, for the developer and there's probably a user out there that likes that functionality but not me for me that just doesn't work so I try to stay away from view types that uh, that do that let's go ahead and jump into now how I specifically use uh, XBMC um, I, I don't just use it to view videos and audio in fact I don't really listen to a lot of music within XBMC now um, obviously I do um, I do watch a lot of video um, but XBMC is capable of doing and for me does do so much more um, if I go over into my programs here you can install additional add-ons uh, and program add-ons to XBMC uh, like these streaming web-based services mashup TED talks ice films one channel um, and various other ones that I don't even have on this uh, this sub menu uh, and you have NaviX, which basically renders a cable box useless um, with live television streams. So uh, there, there's so much more that you can do. Those, of course, are, are video um, uh, options. But something I've started using more frequently uh, is PC gaming. Um, it's something that I've started to get back into, I guess, a little bit. Um, with some of these indie games that have come out the last year or two, I've, I've really started to get back into PC gaming. Uh, not in a really strong way, but, but I'm getting back into it. I, I'm still more of a console gamer. But from within XBMC, this one, uh, one front-end media device, I can launch movies, audio, television, programs, and video games. So I, if you install an add-on called advanced launcher you have the ability to launch external programs third-party programs uh, basically anything that's installed on your computer outside of XBMC uh, can be launched with uh, the advanced launcher plugin so if I you know were in my media center and I want to play a video game I'll go ahead and launch Stanley Parable XBMC will go to the background as Stanley Parable loads. I'll have to adjust the window here because my OCD my OCD won't let me leave that alone. Um, when you're recording a video game in Windows 7 you have to do it in uh, a window apparently so I didn't line those up very well. So anyway we'll go ahead uh, doing your video game thing, your exit out of that, you're done with your video game, now you're right back where you left off in your media center. Um, now it's so it's fully capable of uh, of handling so much more than just audio and video. Um, you can really make the, you can almost you can build a PC and just have it launch XBMC. In fact, there's many people that do just that. Um, they build a standalone um, uh, home theater unit that just launches XBMC and that's what it runs. Uh, uh, natively out of the box straight off uh, a power up let's see comic books yeah why not I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I set this up um, it was a late night waiting for something to install and I I plugged my comic books into here you know just because why not um, but that's just it I mean you're perfectly capable of doing this if you need to and to be perfectly honest I've used it uh, in that case more than once since then too. You know, I've been waiting for something to download or install, so I pop in here, pick up the last issue of Lazarus, open it up. Advanced Launcher opens up Comic Rack, which is my e-comic reader, 
it picks up right where I left off the last time I was reading and when I'm done reading you know that or when I'm when that program is done download or installing or whatever I exit out of that jump right back into XBMC and continue doing whatever it was I was doing um, so this is a it's a really nice setup for a home theater I mean you can control everything all of your media from one centralized location hopefully in the next video or two I'll go into actually setting these up the games and stuff um, it's a little bit uh, a little bit more in-depth than just uh, jumping in here and uh, and firing off on it for you know 90 seconds so I guess that's all I got for you I'm gonna go ahead and leave you uh, with some churches here so you can uh, get an idea of the now playing screen if you're not familiar with churches shame on you